Hi, welcome to the DVD about Hedgehog. Hedgehog is an opening system or opening concept. Uh, it would be more appropriate to call it concept than uh, one opening line because the uh, uh, hedgehog structure appears in many different openings. Uh, the hedgehog uh, is a, a child of a modernism, of a, a new era in chess. It became popular in the uh, 70s uh, uh, due to the efforts of uh, people like Ljubojevic and, and Georgiou, uh, then even uh, players like Kasparov and, and Karpov uh, uh, contributing to its development. And it's remarkable because the uh, first games with this uh, concept uh, with a structure were played a long time ago, we can say nearly 100 years ago, but it never really took off. Uh, uh, in the old days, uh, people were a little bit afraid to uh, leave uh, the, uh, your opponent, uh, to leave wide uh, with uh, uh, the opportunity to occupy the center, and uh, they were afraid of uh, uh, giving too much space to the opponent. Uh, typical structure of a uh, uh, hedgehog is uh, on the board, you can see it. It's defined by the pawns uh, a6, b6, d6 and e6 and uh, occasionally uh, black has uh, the bishop not on e7 but directly on uh, g7. Uh, what is uh, very typical is that white is uh, uh, having all the freedom in his development. White can occupy the first four ranks and uh, it's a little bit difficult for him uh, to cross uh, the Rubicon, to cross his uh, half of the board because uh, all the squares on uh, the fifth rank are uh, covered and attacked by the black pawns. If you look at a5, b5, c5, d5, e5, f5, the, uh, these are the squares that are inaccessible or immediately inaccessible for white pieces. On the other hand, uh, black uh, uh, has a little bit cramped position, cramped in the sense that uh, he is limited on the last uh, uh, three um, ranks, it means the sixth to eighth rank, it means he has uh, less space, but uh, on the other hand, uh, his position really uh, is uh, similar to what uh, a hedgehog, a small animal, can achieve uh, with his protective uh, shield. Uh, it repels all the threats and uh, all the dangers of the opponent, at least for a certain period of time. Uh, it's uh, interesting that uh, this uh, modern uh, development and modern concept uh, is uh, very flexible and uh, there is one uh, great exception to the rule. Uh, you may ask, as in any uh, opening and uh, in any uh, decent chess position, uh, what is suitable, what are the good plans for white, what are the good plans for black. Uh, one thing is remarkable. Uh, in, uh, from a certain point of view, this is an uh, exception to the rule in the sense that even though black has uh, a limited space, uh, black is very much interested in keeping uh, as many pieces as possible on the board because uh, it enhances his chances when the position opens, when he manages to uh, break th th uh, free uh, from his uh, uh, limited uh, uh, space and then uh, the uh, impact and uh, the activity of his pieces can be uh, quite uh, serious. Uh, any serious exchanges, any uh, substantial exchanges of pieces are diminishing his uh, potential, potential of his uh, pawns and, and pieces. On the other hand, if uh, white is simply uh, exchanging most of the pieces, he may uh, not get any advantage, uh, as we will see in some examples. 
Uh, I would like to present uh, uh, the idea uh, that the, the similar structure can arise from many, many different openings. It doesn't have to be uh, C4, the position that was on the board, uh, that was uh, arising from the uh, English hedgehog that we will be dealing with. After knight C3, which is the main move, black plays E6, and uh, it has to be admitted uh, the hedgehog uh, can't be achieved Achieved uh, by definition by black. It, uh, it is a, a cooperation of white. White who is willing uh, to uh, let black uh, achieve uh, this structure. But is, this is very typical and typically the case because in modern chess openings, uh, white is very often uh, relying on the fianchette of, of the light square bishop. Uh, here, after e6, of course, white can play uh, moves like uh, d4 or, or any other, or e e3 or any other uh, different line, but if he chooses g3, uh, one of the most promising black's uh, reactions um, is black b6, bishop b7, castling, bishop b7, and well, I have uh, 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 introduced uh, the main line, which is queen d4. This is also more or less the child of the new time times, because well, in the old days people would be too afraid uh, to centralize the queen. So uh, in such an early stage of the game, on the other hand, uh, queen d4 is some kind of provocation because white is hoping uh, to lure black into uh, playing knight c6. Uh, this is a, a very tempting move. Uh, uh, it's definitely playable, as we will see uh, in uh, one of other uh, sections on this DVD. But uh, the main idea for Black is uh, to achieve his uh, ideal uh, m uh, position with uh, d6. And after rook d1, he will play uh, a6, uh, thus achieving the typical uh, hedgehog position. 